Former head of the task force, Susan Holowesco Larson, showed the breakdown to Nassau Guardian executive editor Candia Dames and Tribune business editor Neil Hartnell on Wednesday. Those records appeared to contradict the government's claim that there were no records on spending, no breakdown on who was being helped, and no paper trail. But Watson insists government hasn't seen those records. Perhaps the Nassau Guardian would like to share with us what they have. Um, we've been told there were, there were no records here regarding it. And, and, we find, and it's quite interesting that the former head of the task force is comfortable sharing whatever information she has with Tribune, The Guardian, um, but the government can't get access to it. Uh, the gov government officials have said, we want to see the records. We need to be able to give an account for the records. We haven't seen those. If you've seen records that show what was spent and who it was spent to, by all means, please share with the government. On Monday, Minister of Social Services, Obi Wilchcombe, claimed the government has been unable to provide the World Bank with specific data about how the program's money was spent. However, the Nassau Guardian saw a report the task force prepared for the World Bank last year. And this mention of a report that was sent to the World Report, the report that was sent to the World Report is not what we're asking for. We're asking information as to where the money went, who, where did you buy your goods from, how much did you spend. That, re that was not sent to the World Bank. A review of the task force's database suggests all the questions that the World Bank had could be easily answered as analytics could be run in the database. But Wilshire suggested the task force was not accountable and he was embarrassed that he could not answer the World Bank. Watson ultimately suggesting that the information sent to the World Bank isn't what government is asking for. If you have information that satisfies that the information that Ms. Larson produced to you is adequate, you wouldn't be asking me those questions here today. You would have simply published the information in the paper and say, here's how the money was spent, here's who it went to. You didn't do that, so I suspect she didn't provide that for you either. Reporting for the Guardian News Network, I'm Jared Higgs.